As in the past, current work at Cleveland Lloyd is really focused on understanding what happened. What happened to create the deposit? Did the allosaurs die there or were they washed in in a flood? Were there other animals living at the site or not? Was it a migration route? How did they die? Why did they die? We really want to understand what's going on to create Cleveland Lloyd. The Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry is unique in two ways. One, in that it has one of the highest concentration of Jurassic bones in the world. And two, because about 75% of all the fossils found belong to carnivores, or meat-eating dinosaurs, a majority of which are from a dinosaur named Allosaurus. So what happened? Why are we finding all of these bones here, and why are so many of them carnivores? Based on the work of researchers over the last few decades, interpretations for the setting of the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry have become more complex. The geochemistry of the rocks surrounding the bones suggests that the semi-arid landscape of the late Jurassic would have been littered with seasonal ponds and lakes. During the wet season, these ponds would have been ecological hotspots with algal blooms and the introduction of organic matter into the ponds. And one of those ponds, probably an ephemeral pond, one that didn't survive all year but that periodically dried out, was Cleveland Lloyd. One of the few things researchers agree about is that we know this was a small pond and that it was certainly dry for parts of the year. And the longer this pond that is Cleveland Lloyd existed, the wetter it became, the more it became a permanent pond rather than a seasonal one. Perhaps certain dinosaurs instinctually flocked here in hopes for water, like animals on the African savanna. Or perhaps it was a predator trap where prey would get stuck in the mud and attract carnivores like Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus, who would get stuck as well. To answer these questions, we need to excavate more and continue to do research. Jurassic National Monument is an important piece in our understanding of the history of our planet, complete with a treasure trove of Jurassic dinosaur bones, footprints, and ancient environments now preserved as sandstone, siltstones, and limestones. We hope that our continued collection of geologic and paleontological and stratigraphic data will help contribute to paint a picture of what the world was like in the late Jurassic period.